Right, let's bring in John Stoltzfus now. He is the chief investment strategist at Oppenheimer. He's here on the set with us. Scott, okay. Good to see you. You tell us what you make of all Game this. Game on, John. I, I can't help but say they're related to the dollar. I think the dollar's also got the effect that it's become a safe haven currency. And that's a real problem. It's not only the differential in terms of the yield, but it's safe haven assets uh, that are determined by the dollar and an environment where you have negative yields, uh, what, what, 13, 14 trillion dollars worth of, of, uh, of negative yields around the world. We're still positive. Everything is relative. Uh, and it's an environment where it, there's just very little peace right now, but we may be leading up to a crescendo of things that lead to some kind of an agreement in the trade war. I don't think anybody expects uh, that we're going to go to a perfect world with a trade agreement. But at least it'll point us in the right direction and hopefully begin begin to reinstate the process of globalization with China as a as a player. It'll feel less threatened because right now it's losing by the day. It is it, you have firms that uh, companies are, are 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 diversifying their supply chain away from China, and that's only going to compound the longer this continues. It's easier said than done, too. So oh. if I'd asked you this morning, post Powell. How you play this market, you would have been positive, buy stocks. I would have been positive and say buy stocks. Okay, so now it's, you know, 5 o'clock, just passed in the east. You got another tweet and tariffs. Now you say what? Uh, before the close, we were looking for we were looking for stocks that had come off that we, we had seen just a, just a few days ago. Looked a little bit expensive. We're beginning to shop to, to, to buy. We still like consumer discretionary technology, industrials and financials. Go figure. Because we don't think this is, this goes forward forever. You don't think it happens? Oh, I, I, think there, I, I think what we do have here, I don't think he's going to actually do it. I think we get some kind of a, a truce ahead of, uh, ahead of uh, to, to provide uh, opportunity to come to an agreement. He's saying, this is what I'm prepared to do. The irony and the sadness of all of this is probably the only thing that would get China's attention was a trade war with tariffs oh. because traditional negotiation was not going John, to work. Industrials and financials. Chicken. I mean, those. I mean, is it valuation that makes you want to buy those? Because basically, they're not working. Yeah. They haven't worked. Is it well, just maybe they, it's they, so bad it's good, yeah, or they, what they, is it? They, they've actually worked this year, although they underperformed the the S and P 500. But at one point, they were up. Financials were up about 14 percent. Related to industrials, we think they're the new technology. When all this starts coming back, you've got in, in industrial products today are riddled with technology, whether it's all kinds of sensors GM. or I things. I mean, it's a case in point. This is, this, this, this is the cyclical and the secular trends that are the offset to a lot of the negativity what, that we have. What if I told you that Powell, he made his cut in rates yesterday, mm -hmm. and that's it, and he's done? Would your outlook in the market change? I, I think it, it, it would depend how we how things develop from here. Today's too fresh. It's like yesterday. People were saying to me, "What do you think on the back of what just happened?" I said, "Well, it, it seems to make sense. People were waiting for an opportunity to be able to take profits without FOMO. They got it today by the confusion with the Fed chair. And today they had more more time because the markets are up. If if you look at a screen that shows you the world markets, markets are green around the world." I, it, 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 whether it's it, it's Latin America, with the exception of Mexico, whether it, Europe, you've got it, the DAX is higher 15%. on the year. But measuring UK, just a year-to-date yeah. number is an arbitrary thing. But basically, but most stop. bourses are below where they Especially were 18 December. months ago. Uh, that that is one <laughs> thing. Mean, but the good thing is they're, they're they're a lot higher than they were on December 24th. I know, but that's quarter. an arbitrary thing, uh, right? December well, 12th, December. That's what the world. That's what global equity is. That's what Wall Street is gauged on. We get all that. Everything's paid annually in your mortgage. Yeah, that's the point. Everyone is, that is global at those same numbers. Are not working. Oh, they peaked oh, 18 months ago. Or maybe they were in the process of working, and we were getting, we, we were in the middle of a great big uh, ramp up higher, uh, the next leg to come, and we've just been interrupted. It's it's like stocks interrupt us, right? Uh, who was the problem. biggest interrupter? Was it Powell with what he said yesterday, uh, or Trump today? What he, he said late in the afternoon. Quite frankly, John, it's good to see you.